like, what is up with people with fast metabolism? You just blessed because your metabolism quick or whatever. Coming up as a skinnier kid, I got a lot of this. Johnny, you can eat whatever. Your metabolism is so fast. Excuse me? I'm 11. I don't know what you're talking about. That's how we use the word metabolism. We call it fast or high, and those words are interchangeable. They basically mean the same thing. Same thing what though? What is metabolism? Metabolism is a word for every chemical reaction involving energy that keeps us alive. The definition is simple, but in reality, that thing is complex. Look at all of this. These are all of those chemical processes that we need to keep the body rolling. And the goal in this video is to go over every single one. Just kidding. Thankfully, we don't have to regard that chart at all to talk about fast metabolism. I just wanted you to appreciate how magnificent your body, that's going on in you right now. Right now? Now, if you go around asking lab coatists about metabolism, they're probably gonna bring up BMR. The basal metabolic rate is the rate the body uses energy to perform only the most basic essential processes keeping us alive, such as pumping blood. The BMR is a huge percentage of your TMR, your total metabolic rate, the rate of energy needed to fuel every single function and activity of the body. TMR is often overlooked, but in a few moments, I'll share why regarding TMR is the key to understanding fast metabolism. One of those fuel sources that the body uses is fat. Ideally, us humans, we like it when the body uses fat for energy. So people with fast metabolisms are burning fat at a quicker rate? Oh, baby. If you ask Harvard, some people are just lucky. They just got it. I would probably never tell you that it's just luck. That's, there's way more at play here. In actuality, our metabolisms aren't fixed. They are faster during some parts of the day and slower during others. It's depending on how much energy the body is demanding at that moment. So let's paint a picture a little bit. Children have a relatively high metabolism because they need a lot of fuel to grow. Another one, our metabolism is relatively high when we're eating because we're taking food from the outside world, putting it into us so that our body can absorb it and it's going to become us. It may not seem like it, but that takes a lot of energy. That's a lot of work. Check this out. This is a cool one. Researchers took chess players and analyzed their physiology during a game of chess and found a significant increase in sympathetic nervous system activity. Remember those? The parasympathetic? That's the one with the rest and digest when you're chilling. And then there's the sympathetic, which is your fight or flight, you know? Get into a tussle, you bout it, bout it, or you finna dip dip. The body demands energy depending on what we're doing. You wanna know what else requires a lot of energy? You got some. It's modifiable. You can lose it. You can flex it. It's your muscle. Our muscles are highly metabolically active. So yes, we can go for that morning mile and use a lot of energy during that time, or we can strength train and stack that muscle on ourselves so that we got more demanding muscles while we're not even working out. I found an absolutely mind-blowing experiment on muscle gains and metabolism. Researchers took participants, strength trained them up to give them more muscle, and they found that their BMR did not increase due to increased muscle. I sat there for about three minutes after reading that. Totally heartbroken. Ask any lab coders. Our muscles are highly metabolically active, yet it seems that getting more muscle doesn't increase our basal metabolic rate. But, and it's a big but, basal metabolic rate isn't the full story. TMR is the full story. Time to bring out the trusty anatomy and physiology textbook where we go to find any mechanism of the body. Did I get the camera? Can the camera pick up the... The author's name. It says here, well-trained athletes can exercise vigorously for several minutes. TMR may increase 20-fold and it remains elevated for several hours after exercise stops. I wish I could pull up the exact studies they mentioned in there, but they don't like reference them or anything. So I'm not certain on them, but 20-fold sounds pretty promising. And those are for athletes, non-athletes, regular people, or anyone. If we just increase our metabolism two-fold, I mean, we're still talking about a good substantial increase. We don't need to be a well trained athlete in order to reap the benefits of challenging our muscles. You can go for strength training, hit training. That is not lucky. That's the truth, Ruth. 